Welcome to the Crazy Hat Chemist. So today we are going to do another video on electrons and atoms. So let's get moving. Bam! So today we're going to be doing the electron configuration and orbital box diagram for hydrogen. So I want you to pull out a periodic table right now so that you have a periodic table handy. Find hydrogen, okay? And uh, it's Z of 1. So hopefully you've been able to find that way earlier on. So we're going to write the electron configuration and orbital box diagram for hydrogen. Okay, this is the standard notation for hydrogen. This is the Z. So Z is the number of protons in a neutral element. It is also equal to the number of electrons. And since we're going to be doing electron configurations, and we are, so we are really looking for the number of electrons. We're making an assumption here, and then all elements here are neutral, okay? And uh, so that, that will help us out, okay? So since Z is equal to one, there is one electron in hydrogen, okay? The electron configuration for hydrogen is 1s1. That's how it's read, 1s1. So what do these numbers and letters mean? So this one that's in blue is n, and that's the principal quantum number. That's the n, that's the energy level in which that electron and orbital is in. This s is the angular momentum quantum number, which is l. And for an s-type orbital, it is actually a zero because it's n minus one. And since n is equal to one, then it's n minus one. So therefore, the l is equal to zero, which corresponds to an s-type orbital. So therefore, the s. And this orange here is the number of electrons in that subshell or in that orbital. So um, that's why it's one, because there's only one electron in hydrogen. Okay, hopefully that works out for you. Okay, so we're not done yet, so hold on here, because this is the electron configuration for hydrogen, which is 1s1. Okay, we still need to write the orbital box diagram for hydrogen. So we're going to write the orbital box diagram for hydrogen now. Okay, so this is the standard notation again. Okay, the electron configuration is 1s1, just like what we had before. So what I like to do is I like to tell my students, write out the electron configuration first, then after writing the electron configuration, then you're going to work yourself into the orbital box diagram until you feel comfortable doing the orbital box diagrams directly from the periodic table. Okay, so we're going to write a single box, okay? And that single box is n orbital. The maximum number of electrons that you can fit in n orbital is two. Don't forget about that. Okay, but we don't actually have two electrons here. We only have one electron, as designated by the orange one in 1s1. Okay, so how many boxes or orbitals do I draw? And this corresponds to the m sub l values, which is 2l plus 1. That, in this case, it is equal to 1, so therefore 1 box. Okay, the electron configuration is 1s1, but we don't write that 1s1 under the box. We're going to actually label the box according to the principal quantum number and the L value, the angular momentum quantum number. So that 1 that's in blue is the principal quantum number n. The s is the type of orbital or the L value, which is 0. So it's 1s. It's a 1s box, 1s orbital, okay? And so there's our principal quantum number. That's our angular momentum quantum number, and that is an L value of zero. zero. Remember, that corresponds to an s-type orbital, okay? So we don't write 1, 0. It's 1s, okay? And then we're going to draw out the number of electrons, but these electrons are going to be drawn as arrows, okay? So... There we go, there's an arrow, okay? That arrow corresponds to the a single electron that is in hydrogen. And this is the m sub s value. That m sub s value is positive one half. And that's because the spin of this electron is positive one half, which is corresponding to a clockwise direction, okay? You always write by convention the first arrow in a box in an orbital, the first arrow is always up, okay? 
by convention. So the first arrow, the first electron, the first spin of that electron in the first box is always an upward facing electron. So the orbital box diagram is essentially really that box, the 1s labeling underneath, and then that orange arrow facing up. Okay, this value corresponds to an upward facing, which is a clockwise spin. I already mentioned that before. Okay, so now we have the electron configuration and the orbital box diagram. The electron configuration is 1s1, and the orbital box diagram is that single box with it labeled underneath as 1s, and then the single orange arrow facing upward. Okay, that was another video uh, by the Crazy Hat Chemist. This is my winter hat that I get. Uh, I get my favorite hats that I wear as normal hats with my wife when we are in traveling in Spain. So this comes from Spain of one of the oldest hat manufacturers that is in Spain. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I will see you next time. Bye now.